Yeah, I think that might be a problem. What is going on, guys? It's finally time to go back there and get that JK off the trailer, and we're gonna see if it'll start for the first time in three years. So if you're new to the channel, I did another video that explained why this JKE Rubicon got abandoned for three years and how I got it for the ridiculous price of 3,500 bucks, and I'll link that at the end of the video. Here's the land raider and the snatch block. Pull this thing up the driveway. Let's see if the winds will play nice. Yeah. So, before I try to start this thing, a couple things I'm going to do. And the gas, it's like three years old. I don't know how much is in there. I need to replace this battery. It will not take a charge. I have an Optima right there that I can throw in there. And probably the other thing I want to do is take this belt off and see if any of my pulleys rusted shut. Because, yeah, that's the last thing I want to do is try to start it with if something's locked up. But I think that's going to be for another day. The sun's going down, so we'll be back to it. It's a new day. Let's see if we can kick this pig over. Now it's time to see how much gas is in this thing. Really? Who lets a vehicle sit for three years with a half a tank? The hell? All right, let's pull this belt up here and see how many of these are locked up. Hopefully none. That one spins, that one spins. Ooh, that one's a little chunky, but it spins. Water pump spins. Power steam spins and yeah. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I try to start this with that old fuel in there or just siphon it out and put new stuff in? Decisions. Ah, to hell with it. We're gonna see if it starts, if that fuel's bad. We can always change the filter and drain it later. Well, we got nothing doing, so we're gonna go beat on the starter, I guess, or maybe check the relays. So I just swapped around the starter relay with a couple other ones. I think it's that one. And I'm gonna check the air filter before I try this again. I didn't even think about that till now. Oh hell, that ain't bad looking. Still nothing. Wonder what I'm missing. I thought it was possible this isn't fully charged, so I decided to throw this on there and start cleaning some of these grounds because they don't look the best. There's one there, there's one there, and there was one here with the strap that went down. And then I proceeded to just barely touch it and it just, you see that piece just broke off too. And then I'm like looking for the other end of it and I pull it up and there is no other end. So I need to find out where this was supposed to go get a new ground on it and I'll clean these ones up and then we'll try again. So I've been hearing about some tricks that when these won't start to turn on the headlights and then try again. So let's see. Still nothing. 
I don't know if maybe my clutch switch is bad that tells it you got the clutch in. I've tried starting it in four low, that didn't work. I gotta figure this out though, it's annoying. Okay, so I just went through every ground I could find top side. We got one there, one there, one right there, two over there on the firewall. And then what I did is I ran the old secondary old winch cable as a ground cable to the alternator bracket, ground the paint off of it. I've got that one replaced down to the firewall, but the one from the firewall to the engine block is still broken. I'm gonna see if it'll start now with this on there because the engine should be able to get ground through that. All right, so one more thing that I just did, I got down on the starter and I pulled the little ground wire off of it and brushed that clean. So now we're gonna try this. Started up. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Fired right up. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Listen to this kitten purr. Kind of sounds like it's knocking. I wonder if we're down on oil pressure. Oh, hot damn, it runs. $3,500 Rubicon. Well, I'm sure smarter people probably would have checked the oil and stuff like that first. It did sound like it was knocking a little bit, so I'm gonna look into that. Uh, why is there no oil at the bottom, but there's oil right there? Hmm, check it again. Yeah, I think that might be a problem. Let's add some oil. Let's see, 5W20. Whatever, it'll work. Well, I put about two and a half quarts in and we're finally about halfway up the safe zone. I'm gonna fire it up again. I think we got a little exhaust leak or something going on now. Wonder if it'll go away when it warms up. Everything's spinning good. Kind of goes away there. Christmas tree dash. I think this is like standard operating JK procedure having all these lights on. Hell, I can't believe it's running on that three year old gas to be honest with you. Well, I don't even got the title of my name yet. I don't have plates yet, but I think we need to go for a drive. What do you think? Well, hot damn, all the windows work. She's got brake fluid. I don't know, we're looking a little thin on the coolant though. Alright, let's take this baby for a rip. Oh nope, that's six gear. It's been so long since I've freaking driven a stick. Hey, my coffee's trying to dump. Can't have that. Holy Jesus. This thing needs some brake work. That was weird. It kind of felt like the ABS kicked on. I guess this thing feels all right. Probably not gonna go too far from home though on this inaugural run. Cause my luck, she'll break down and I'll have to go get the trailer and it's cold out. We're gonna take her back here to the old compost dump. You hear that grandma clutch I just did? Oh, quit batching at me. I'll put it on. Hot damn, that looks like an M101 over there. overheating we haven't blown up yet should we go on a on a highway run i just gotta hope i don't get pulled over because you know i got no tags no title no insurance nothing oh hell i bet some of you guys want to know what the plans are for this thing so we'll talk about that for a minute basically i'm going to fix this up 
the best I can, and then I'm going to sell it for as much money as I can so that I can buy as much unnecessary rowdy for my YJ as I can. Wait, did I just say unnecessary? I didn't mean that. Got my eyes on one of them midnight metalwork rock boxes, if you know what I mean. I'm like a grandma staying in third gear. So yeah, that's the idea with this thing is, you know, recoup my initial investment and then basically buy some gnarly shit for the YJ. Alright, we're getting on the highway here. Ooh, that shift. Let's see how she does. Can I get the sixth gear? Almost 60 in third, but I'm in fifth gear and it don't, it don't even feel like I could use sixth. Oh, so here's my turn though. Oh boy. We got a downshift. We got a downshift. Come on, brakes. <laughs> oh boy. I am so glad this thing's a stick right now. You know why the brakes don't work on this Jeep? It's because it's from Illinois and not Iowa. That's why. I had to cross the blue line to get this thing. We don't go over there. Not as Iowa folk. We don't cross that blue line. We don't cross the Sippy. The Mississippi. The mighty Mississippi. It's our border. We don't go over there unless we have to. Because we're better than them. This thing's a damn peasant Jeep. A peasant Illinois Jeep. Oh, come on. Come on. This should be good. Let's go through a school zone. Hopefully no kids are not in front of me. I'm going to take her extra slow just in case. Oh, shit. There's a cop. Ten and two, Dan. Ten and two. Looks like I'm in the clear. All right, let's take this thing home before I blow it up or something. Well, I guess we solved that damn great mystery now, didn't we? She runs. She's a runner. But I gotta be honest, it is too damn cold to be out here, like, fixing this thing up right now. So now that she runs, she's just gonna get parked for a while until it warms up a little bit. So here in about another month or so, it'll be in the 30s and 40s or whatever, and that's warm enough for me. But this 11 degree shit just ain't cutting it. It just ain't cutting it. Oh, there's the beauty. The YJ beauty, that's what we're doing this all for. Well, we made it, and I didn't blow it up. That's gonna be it for this one, because I'm going inside to warm up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now. And I'm looking at the wrong spot on the camera. Whoops. I'll end up changing it anyway. Ah! See, make sure you do that. If you're ever working on a car, drop everything down there.